You don't know what it is, it's the mob today at Peter Sellers or the Pink Panther or Inspector Clouseau, which would he be better known as what this company, I believe it's Caustic Plastic, that's who it's by. They didn't get the license, so the way that it worked around it is to call him Peter Sellers and just have a Peter Sellers figure, which I don't know what's going on with this estate, so somehow they were able to do that that's the way that they were able to get around calling him Peter Sellers instead of the Pink Panther or Inspector Clouseau. If you have not seen these movies, you need to go see them right now. If you were watching this, obviously you've seen these movies and you know how great they are. It's just that British humor with movies and TV shows. It's just so much rich than that of the States. In my opinion, I much rather enjoy a British comedy rather than a state's comedy. It's just my opinion though. Taking a look at the accessories, what it comes with is a club, of course, for his officer uniform, as well as an officer hat. And the way these go on, there's a special head for that specifically. <laughs> he has that ridiculous look on his face. You gotta watch these movies if you haven't. And what they do is they have a magnet top of his head and the top of the hat so you can leave that on any position you'd like here's the second hat one's just a lighter compared to the darker brown but such good detail on the eyes that glossy eyes look in any of these one six figures if you haven't seen them that's what gives them life is the glossy eyes also, he comes with the bomb. If you know, there's seen with Kato and the bomb. And also, his gun. I don't know if you could release Oh, you can. Has the bullets to release the mag. That's just a pull down. Doesn't have no slide action or anything. It's a very highly detailed gun. Looks like a real gun. Here's his magnifying glass. Indeed. Uh, I wouldn't say it necessarily magnifies. It does, but not in detail. <laughs> okay, here's his watch. If I could focus on that. I don't know if we could get it. But you could see kind of the details in it. You can see the hands and whatnot, but it is a pretty cool watch. And the last accessory, the billfold, which comes with two different police identifications and two different photos. I prefer that one. That's already in the wallet. All you do is insert them in there on the side, fold it up, put it in his pocket. Here's the coat. And this was a bonus item if you got the deluxe edition was the extra coat and the tie. And unfortunately, I'm not going to put this on for you all to see it. And the reason being is that when you're removing clothes and oh, that sounds terrible, but putting different clothes on one six figures is really hard to do. And I'm afraid to break it. They're so pricey and I if Dark Flowers wants me to do it or she wants to do it because this is her figure and that's the main reason I don't want to break it. Not that I would do it myself anyway, but I do like his general trench coat look. That would be the, I think, in my opinion, the best way to pose him is in his regular inspector, not like this police uniform, but his inspector trench coat. That's his classic look. So just to give you a look, there's nicely detailed buttons, this police badge or metal. You can fit the wallet on the inside of these pockets, I believe. Maybe they're just sewn up good. Yeah, you could put something in these long pockets, but it will drop all the way down if you wanted to put his ID in there because there's no line that's sewing to stop it so it would drop all the way down there from here 
so it has that much space to drop down into. Very nice coat. Let's get in the tie. The thing I really like about this is that the human hands or the non-gloved hands, of course these are human hands, they're just gloved. <laughs> so the gloved hands are totally different than the regular flesh hands. None of them match. There's a grabbing, I'm sure, for the bomb, no doubt. There's a little pointy hand or open hand. There's the pointy hand. Here's the grabbing hand for his badge or his um, magnifying glass, excuse me. Probably is, I don't see, that's kind of dainty for a club hand. So it's more than likely his ID or he would even hold his watch or whatnot. This hand I'm talking about, and this one could maybe hold it. Do the same thing with this hand. It's a holder. He has two regular hands that match. Those are really the only hands that match. Because this open hand looks nothing like the other ones. And then you got the club hand. I suppose you could use this one for the club hand also. It'd be kind of tight. But here's the trigger finger hand. That's really, I guess you could hold this hand with a gun. These two, any of the other offerings, I wouldn't think would be a good idea to hold the gun. Maybe there's a, these are basically the same hands. So the flesh hands offer a duplicate on left and right. So these could definitely hold the club and the gun. Well, as to the gloved hands, they don't have the same hand for each side. So that's really neat in my opinion. One thing I didn't know about, which I should mention now, is that his feet and the base are magnetic. Well, I had no clue that they were like that. Usually I'm used to one six figures and they have the stand and they have the little grabby things on back so they stay stable. This is pretty neat. I'd prefer all the figures to be this way instead of the stand with the stick in there behind. One thing I did not mention because I honestly didn't know about it until I was messing with it, you could remove the hairpiece and snap it on the other head. Of course it has the magnets, just adjust it right. So you had the option of having it with hair or with a hat, which I'd prefer unless it be got a Kato figure, which I highly doubt, which would be really sad. But maybe he's coming out of a bubble bath and getting a Clouseau and he has that surprised look on him. I think that would be the only reason you'd display Clouseau without a hat. As if you had a Kato figure. Posing him and having his ridiculous in mind, it's it's really, <laughs> it's hard to do. In order to give him dignity or the correct dignity that he deserves, because he really has none. <laughs> You've never watched these films, because these films were even dated when I first watched them a long time ago. And I don't even really have a memory of when I first watched them. Of course, I know the intro and the cartoon and that's what grasps you and then you think well I want to watch the cartoon because back then they had Looney Tunes and Pink Panther and the Aardvark and Tex Avery all blocked up and I believe it was like what four six hours and it was just cartoons straight and that's all they played and the thing that stuck in my mind and I'm sure if you watch it with your kids today, it will be the whole scene with Kato. With the younger generation, you have to kind of coax them into watching these things. Because I know with my daughter and her growing up and she just didn't want to watch black and white movies. I'm like, wait a minute, you got to watch this movie. It's really good. So it just takes that. It's more or less, it's not visually what's new. It's more what gets you that feeling that wow this movie is really impressive i was wrong thinking that these movies might be bad because that's really the stigma that's going on nowadays 
These Pink Panther movies definitely need to live on and just showing the younger generation, even if they don't want to watch it, they might not even like it, but they might even recall it and say, wow, I remember these movies. Maybe I didn't give it a fair chance or maybe they'll just be into it and say, wow, I was really wrong about these. It's just a matter of just keeping that spirit alive. And these are just rich comedies for the time. And it's just something that definitely needs to live on. This is a Peter Sellers figure from Caustic Plastic. It's the mob. <laughs>